Stay tuned for new videos by subscribing to our channel. The Silent Battle Between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Wales, has been quietly winning a secret war against Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. If a royal biographer wanted to capture the essence of the Windsor House in 2023, they would focus on the month of two dresses. One was worn by Kate, who experienced one of her best months, and the other by Meghan, who went through one of her toughest periods. On May 6th, during Catherine's coronation, she appeared in a dress by Alexander McQueen, adorned with the Victorian royal order mantle and a headpiece that bestowed upon her the steel of Queen Mary. Kate looked as if she was born to play the role of a princess, more so than any other blue-blooded representative with weak Hanoverian DNA. But Kate doesn't just dress at the highest level, she works at that level too. In the past few months alone, she assembled the CEOs of nine global companies into a business advisory group, launched an advertising campaign across the UK, and found time to write an article for the Financial Times, a popular newspaper among presidents, plutocrats, and influential people from Belgravia to Bangkok. Step by step, Catherine is achieving her goals and reaching for her golden stars. The same cannot be said for her sister-in-law Meghan, whose greatest achievement in the past month was the unintentional global dissemination of information about Hertz. Last week, Meghan, her husband Prince Harry, and her mother Doria Ragland attended an awards ceremony in New York to receive recognition as the best feminist. They arrived through a side entrance, the car rental area. And her dress? Perfection. Wearing a strapless gold dress by Joanna Ortiz, the 41-year-old actress looked like a character from Sex and the City. If Kate tried to resemble a queen, Meghan aimed to present herself as a person fully in control of her life. Meghan's life went smoothly until she and Harry left the Ziegfeld Ballroom and found themselves embroiled in a new scandal. A slew of debates, articles with diagrams and maps about the catastrophic paparazzi chase followed. This is one of the signs that things are not going as well as they seem in the Sussex camp. What more can they offer viewers, streaming companies, and publishers now that they have aired all their palace-related grievances? Will anyone care about what they have to say if they don't point fingers at the royal family or talk about deep emotional wounds related to Prince William or Catherine? Currently, the Duchess has no new projects with Netflix or Spotify, and no one has called for another children's book. This month, she signed a contract with the Hollywood mega agency WME, but the direction they will take in developing her career remains unknown. It has been five years since Harry's tied the knot with Meghan Markle, and she is still a Duchess without a portfolio. After all, she is better known for taking a prince away from the royal family than for her charitable projects and creative endeavors. Now, imagine what dress Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, would wear to her coronation. I bet it would be a dress that would put an end to all dresses. Considering what is known about the history of the bridesmaid dress and the tears, it could lead to a great war between the two royal women. What do you think about the silent battle between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle? Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fascinating insights into the world of royalty.